The story is ahead, but first, the most outrageous or untrue things said by or on behalf of the Republican presidential nominee, McCain in the membrane. Number three, Fredericks of Virginia. The McCain National Campaign and the Virginia GOP both insisting today the senator will appear at an event in Virginia on Saturday with state party chairman Jeff Frederick. He is the one caught by Time magazine telling 30 McCain volunteers to emphasize similarities between Obama and Osama bin Laden when they talk to other people because, quoting Mr. Frederick, both have friends that bombed the Pentagon. Huh. At the debate, didn't Senator McCain say that every time there's been an out-of-bounds remark made by a Republican, no matter where they are, I have repudiated them? Well, the senator is going to Virginia to repudiate Mr. Frederick and his unconscionable bin Laden comparison in person, no doubt. Number two, the threat to the fabric of democracy, not so much. While the Republicans continue to light each other's hair on fire about the group ACORN and its voter registration misses and hits, this sober statement from a prominent public official, I think that there's probably less fraud than is being discussed. As we're coming into the closing days of any campaign, there are those who enjoy chaos. Who said that? Who disagrees with the ACORN axis of evil? Charlie Chris, the Republican governor of Florida. And his secretary of state, another Republican, says he doesn't think ACORN is committing systematic voter fraud, but there might be one dubious case in his state. And number one, Sarah Palin and the Unforgiven. Adding a new line to one of the messages pre-recorded in her head, the one about how, quote, it sure would be nice if just once Barack Obama said he wants America to win. The new tag to this is, we are always proud to be Americans and we don't apologize for being Americans. Just skipping for a moment your husband's registered membership in a group founded by a guy who didn't want Alaskans to be Americans. About the not apologizing part, Governor, you may just have missed this, but Defense Secretary Rumsfeld apologized for the mistreatment of Iraqi prisoners in American custody, and then the new Defense Secretary, Mr. Gates, apologized for the air raid in September of last year, in which we killed dozens of Afghan civilians. Excuse me. No, I'm not going to make it to the break. Go.